Hello, expected parents. Parents means both mothers and daughter and uh, fathers. So, expected parents and parents. I am Dr. Tejasvi Kamble. I am an occupational therapist. I am working in Child Development Center since 2012, and I worked in renowned Child Development Centers. Currently. Uh, actually, from last uh, six years, yes, I am at Godrej Hospital in the Child Development Center. So, today my topic is Occupational Therapist Guide Towards Holistic Child Development. Okay, so Holistic Child Development means considering the child as a whole in the sense. The child's physical development, the child's cognitive development, social emotional, perceptual development, spiritual aspects, so cultural aspects, taking the person as a whole. Okay. So at the outset, I would uh, thank Autism Connect to have organized this uh, webinar and the video live chat plus baby chakra they have been doing wonderful work so it's good to come over here and share knowledge and uh, information and uh, experiences so autism connect is doing good work uh, with uh, children with autism and uh, as well as baby chakra, they are doing good work supporting pregnant uh, and you know, par uh, ladies and uh, uh, parents. So now, what comes in your mind when it comes to play? What is play? Play is something which is just pleasurable activity or let's say engagement of the child. Okay, the child may pick up anything, anything and start playing with it. Okay, so they say uh, the child's inner drive, we say. Inner drive in the sense, something which is coming out of the child in intrinsic motivation, we call it. Jo andar se aata hai, ki abhi mujhe ye karna chahiye, abhi mujhe ye cheez ko haat lagana chahiye. Thik hai. So, that is comprising of play. Jo liye, for us, it is like uh, we, we are not really able to figure out for what it is and what is the purpose of it. But play has to be that way. Because it is a child's play. It is called also a free play. Free play in the sense, there's no adult giving directions to it. Or you don't have any aim of, okay, I need to dwell up this aspect or i need to uh, take care of the emotional status of the child and it's a free play wherein the child is as i said allowed to do jo chahiye wo karo par itna hai ki parents ne ye jo play behavior hai usse observe karna chahiye aur note down karna chahiye कि आपके क्या-क्या observations हैं अभी भी आप please आपका diary निकालिए उसमें note down कीजिए जो भी आप नया सीख पा रहे हैं आज से वो आप बहुत सारी चीजें apply करते रहेंगे और कुछ challenges भी रहेंगे so how do you overcome these challenges so we'll talk about that in today's generation we see that uh, there's a lot of technical advancement. Nuclear families, hey, parents are working, so they have very limited time to be given to the child. Okay, or bahar bahut sare programs bhi hum dekhte hain. Kabi kahan kickboxing hai ya kabi karate hai. To kya ho raha hai ki parents ka jo one to one time hai, wo aur kam hote ja raha hai. Thik hai. To these enrichments hai, this is or it should be ideally followed or along with the 
parent one to one interaction number one and number two under the supervision and also consultation of an occupational therapist okay so now why occupational therapist occupational therapist use play to interact with the child to uh, evaluate the child to develop a therapy program for the child that is intervention okay and uh, along with the into one to one into intervention also we involve the parents that you come be a part of the session we also invite uh, i i tell grandparents in fact to be a part of it why because family as a whole gets to participate in what's happening with the child how the child is playing and how you can facilitate the play okay now in my clinical setting i have seen children have some typical uh, play behaviors typical as in uh, children who have uh, features or red flags of autism they say they show play behaviors which is deviant now deviant in the sense they have some repetitive play jaise koi cheez hai usko line mein lagane ka hai aur जो ऑर्डर है उसको मेंटेन करना है ठीक है तो ऑर्डर किसी ने डिस्टर्ब किया तो उन्हें पसंद नहीं आता है या कोई चीज कहीं पे रखना है तो वो वहीं पे ही रखना है तो ये जो डिस्टर्बेंसेस है वो उनको इमोशनली डिस्टर्ब करते हैं तो वो जैसे मेल्ट डाउन बोलते हैं कभी बच्चा रोएगा या फिर एग्रेसिवली बिहेव करेगा कि ऐसे क्यों किया है ऐसे क्यों हुआ ठीक है तो कभी कभी एज पेरेंट भी आपको थोड़ा समझना मुश्किल हो जाता है कि ये बच्चा ऐसे क्यों कर रहा है तो ये डिवियंट बिहेवियर जो है दिस इज यूजली सीन इन एज ए से चिल्ड्रन विद फीचर्स ऑफ ऑटिज्म और वो अकेला ही खेलना पसंद करते हैं कि एक खिलौना है उसके कोई जैसे कार है उसका उसके व्हील्स देखेंगे ठीक है उसको टिपिकली जैसे लाइन में रखेंगे तो वैसे प्ले बिहेवियर्स होते हैं और कुछ प्ले बिहेवियर्स जो डिवियंट है वो ऐसे होते हैं कि एक एक्टिविटी जैसे किसी बच्चे ने इनिशिएट किया तो वो पूरा कम करने के लिए उन्हें उतना टॉलरेंस या फिर सिटिंग टॉलरेंस फ्रस्ट्रेशन टॉलरेंस जो बोलते हैं वो कम होता है तो वो एक एक्टिविटी से दूसरी एक्टिविटी दूसरी से तीसरी एक्टिविटी ऐसे एक्टिविटीज को शिफ्ट करते रहते हैं ठीक है तो अटेंशन स्पेन कम होना और दूसरे बच्चों के साथ में जब भी खेलना होता है तो ये चीज मेरी है तो मुझे ये शेयर नहीं करना है टू अ सर्टन स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ इट्स ओके टू डू दैट बट अगर ये जैसे पाँच साल का बच्चा है और ये अगर वैसे कोई बिहेवियर डेमोन्स्ट्रेट कर रहे हैं तो ये ऐसा अटेंशन पेरेंट अटेंशन देने के लायक है ओके तो कोई भी अगर डिवेंट बिहेवियर है तो इट्स अ रेड फ्लैग ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर डायग्नोसिस तो वो शायद ऑब्सेसिव कंपल्सिव फीचर्स में आ सकते हैं या फिर रेड फ्लैग्स ऑफ ऑटिज्म में आ सकते हैं या चिल्ड्रन हु हैव सम अटेंशन डिफिसिट ऐसे रेड फ्लैग्स में आ सकते हैं इसलिए प्ले कैसा होता है इसे जानना जरूरी है इसे ऑब्जर्व करना जरूरी है नोट डाउन करना जरूरी है ऑक्यूपेशनल थेरापिस्ट से आप कंसल्ट कीजिए ताकि आपको पता चले कि जैसे ऑक्यूपेशनल थेरापिस्ट यूज प्ले मैंने बोला एज अ मीडियम टू इंटरेक्ट वी यूज सर्टन स्केल्स आल्सो जिससे पता चलता है कि बच्चे का सेंसरी प्रोफाइल जो बोलते हैं कि पर्टिकुलर सेंसेस हाउ दे रिस्पॉन्ड टू इट जैसे विजुअल सेंसेशन है ऑडिटरी टच वेस्टिबुलर सेंसेशन प्रोप्रायोसेप्शन ये सारे जो सेंसेशन है प्लस प्ले बिहेवियर कैसे है बच्चों का ये सब पता चलता है जब भी आप ऑक्यूपेशनल थेरेपिस्ट के पास जाते हैं इंडिविजुअली वन टू वन आपको आपके बच्चे का इंफॉर्मेशन मिलता है कि ठीक है मेरे बच्चे का अभी ये ये ज़्यादा प्रेफरेंस है या कहीं पे दिस इज लैकिंग एंड आई नीड टू वर्क ऑन इट तो ये एज ए सेट बिफोर होलिस्टिक कि फिजिकल भी हो सकता है या फिर जैसे बच्चे को जंप करना है पर वो इतनी एफिशिएंटली जंप नहीं कर रहे हैं ठीक है या फिर किसी और बच्चे के साथ में खेलना है पर इतनी अच्छे तरीके से नहीं खेल रहा है प्लस अनदर परस्पेक्ट 
पर्सपेक्टिव ओवर योर इज बच्चे के कोई सिम्टम्स आप नोटिस नहीं भी करते हैं फिर भी हम उसे एज अ फिटनेस और एज एन एनरिचमेंट प्रोग्राम बोल सकते हैं एज ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑफ द चाइल्ड्स स्किल्स जैसे मोटर स्किल्स है उसको और रिफाइन कैसे कर सकते हैं सो इट इज प्ले इज फॉर बोथ फॉर चिल्ड्रेन हु हैव सम फीचर्स ऑफ सम डायग्नोसिस एज ए सेट एंड अनदर वे इज दैट दे डोंट हैव एनीथिंग एज सच बट यू नीड टू ऑप्टिमाइज दे स्किल्स बिकॉज यू ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फाउंडेशन इन देयर लाइफ ओके एंड यू give them a holistic health program yeah so along with occupational therapy i have done uh, masters in applied uh, clinical psychology certification in nutrition and child care certification in fitness management so and i keep upgrading and learning about my field so as to add a lot of things to what i am doing to the case that i am handling with so just a certification in entrepreneurship also have done so when i go for a talk in a school i also talk about innovations ki bachcho ke kya innovations hone chahiye jaise aap toys for example bahar se khareedi karte hain to aap wo ghar pe hi kaise bana sakte hain to how you develop an entrepreneur or an an innovative um aspect also the child so i integrate uh, that also then the nutrition part how with the help of play also you can teach a child to eat healthy food like when you are doing any kitchen activity or maybe you are let's say cutting any vegetable you the child can observe observe you okay and then child you can give uh, uh, some something which is as simple as uh, you know uh, cleaning the vegetables which and you do it with the child so the child is now more interested to eat healthy food so so it is a way of inculcating these positive habits in the child okay then uh, psychology also you study the child's psychology or uh, like uh, there are several theories which support uh, a positive psychology and uh, a child uh, which at different ages show different preferences and different needs so for example a child who is in the age group of 0 uh, to 1 year would have more of the uh, oral needs okay because because a child is uh, initially as being an infant is been fed by the mom so he is more of the uh, preferring oral uh, needs to get satisfied okay and uh, over a period of time like for example 2 years when the child is learning uh, bowel and uh, bladder control at that time actually is a test of your parenting why because at that time uh, the child wants okay i wanted this way or uh, to exercise some kind of a self control you know so you have to as a parent balance that okay okay this is what is required and maybe we do this after some time so that that is getting balanced otherwise then you see a deviant play behavior wherein i want it and it is mine and i'm not going to share it and that kind of a controlling behavior could get developed so at every stage you know it is important that you understand this and you uh, take charge so that you are giving proper direction to them yeah i worked in a multidisciplinary setup wherein i work with uh, physiotherapists speech therapists dietitian developmental pediatrician pediatrician and a team so uh, for a particular child or do you, you think you go to the developmental pediatrician yes for or pediatrician for vaccination at that time you also ask okay what are the um, play behaviors that my child should have and who is occupational therapist in your area in your area and how i can consult and uh, you know give a holistic approach to the child 
So, after when the ch child visits occupational therapist and we notice, okay, there are certain things which, which need attention, then we either refer, okay, okay, the child needs to specifically work on, let's say, speech. So, reference to the speech is given. Or if the child may have, may not, may have nothing as such which may require any intervention, but as I said, would need attention to optimize the skills. Okay. So, जैसे बचपन से ही आप ध्यान दे रहे हैं ताकि उनके habits अच्छे हों ताकि उन आपको अगर पता चले कि कहीं पे तो कुछ अलग हो रहा है तो आप उसको जल्दी catch up करें और उसके बारे में जल्दी intervention करें जल्दी professional help seek करें. Okay. Now we are talking. And focusing on a typical child, typical child as in जिनको कोई तकलीफ नहीं है, let's assume तकलीफ नहीं है मतलब उनका birth weight और जैसे NICU graduates होते हैं उनको उनको कोई complications नहीं है, उनका सब जैसे full term delivery है, they cried immediately after birth, so they are perfectly okay, so we are concentrating on them. For now, so let's say start with the mother. So when when the mom is pregnant and uh, during the prenatal, natal, and postnatal period, the exercises um, that uh, she needs to do is a form of a sensory stimulation which is going to the child. Like for example, when a pregnant uh, mom is uh, taking uh, rocking movements or sitting on rocking chair those vestibular sensations are then given or are then useful to the developing womb okay so it starts right from the uh, pregnancy so do consult a specialist doctor or a therapist who would guide you through this phase Okay, so start right from the time of pregnancy. Stretching exercises, the relaxation, pelvic floor muscle strengthening, all that you need to know more in detail. Okay, now when the child is born, occupational therapists are also part of, like most of the hospitals, you'll see them working in the NICO. Jaisi hi bacha janam leta hai, to pediatricians and gynecologists ke saath mein occupational therapists bhi kuch hospitals mein hoti hain to aap unse bhi suggestions lijiye ki immediately jaise mere bachche ko jaise kangaroo mother care bolte hain ki passing of the heat of the mom or the dad or the caregiver to the growing infant ya fir positioning of the child hota hai ki bachche ko barabar kaise pakda jata hai ये सारी जो चीजें हैं मसाज है तो ये बचपन से ही स्टार्ट होता है when the child is born so an occupational therapist has to be in the picture ideally when you're getting discharged okay so now we talk of the infancy आपको वो टाइम पे आप बच्चे के साथ में इंटरैक्ट करना है जैसे be it mom be it dad be it any family member the child should be like mostly moms are available with the child so because they are also feeding the child so with one parent the child is learning what what type of touch it is what uh, type of the fragrance jaise khushboo aa rahi hai mummy ke badan se aur movement sensation jo mummy haath mein leke bachche ko pakad rahe hain तो वो मूवमेंट सेंसेशन बच्चे को जो जा रहा है, फिर बात कर रहे हैं, बच्चों को देख रहे हैं में, तो ये सारा एक प्ले ही हो गया, एक थ्रू डी फॉर्म ऑफ सेंसेशंस, जैसे मॉम इस टचिंग डी चाइल्ड, सो इट बिकम्स अ टेक्टाइल सेंसेशन टू डी चाइल्ड, ओके, जैसे यू मसाजेस, मसाजेस आर आल्सो रिलैक्सिं so the child learns more about it yeah then 
these child children till the age of uh, three months they do very well with rattles like you just move a rattle at one place and the child will look at it so wahan pe aapka play fir se start ho gaya continued so you are using rattles jise junjuna le rahe hain hindi mein jise bolte hain theek hai fir koi light wala khilona ho gaya कोई साउंड वाले खिलौने होंगे ठीक है एक साउंड वाला अलग रखो लाइट वाला अलग रखो बच्चे को दिखाओ खिलौना बजा के तो बच्चा देख रहा है उस तरफ तो क्या हो रहा है बच्चों के जो विजुअल फिक्सेशन हम बोलते हैं वो डेवलप हो रहा है कि एक जगह पे कहीं पे तो आप फिक्स हो रही है विजुअल फिक्सेशन तो जब भी आप खिलौना मूव करते हैं तो देख रहे हैं कि बच्चों की आंखें भी मूव हो रही है ठीक है तो जैसे इन द इनिशियल पीरियड बच्चे के सामने जो दिखता है उनको वही लगता है कि वही खिलौना है अगर आप विजन से निकाल दो साइड में करो तो उनको लगता है कहाँ गायब हो गया तो ये एक स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ है जहाँ पे जब भी आप खिलौना दिखा रहे हैं बच्चों को तो आप ऐसे खिलौना दिखाइए जिस जो बज रहे हैं या ऐसे खिलौने जिसमें कोई लाइट आ रहा है ताकि वो सामने देख तो उनको सामने दिखाना जरूरी होता है ठीक है फिर ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट ऐसे जो कॉन्ट्रास्ट कलर्स हैं, आप वो यूज कीजिए क्योंकि ये इनिशियल पीरियड में उनको वो प्रोसेसिंग और अच्छी तरीके से होगा ठीक है देन आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स जैसे व्हेन द चाइल्ड इज डेवलपिंग मोर ऑफ द नेक मूवमेंट्स नेक मूवमेंट्स जैसे द आईज एंड द नेक इज मूविंग टूगेदर टू अप्रोच और लुक एट दिन ऑब्जेक्ट तो आप बच्चों को वैसे खिलौने जैसे अलग अलग डायरेक्शन में मूव कर रहे हैं तो आप उन उनका भी मूवमेंट आप बढ़ा रहे हैं जैसे यू गिव अ चाइल्ड अ टॉय जिसका जो चाबी वाला खिलौना होता है ठीक है जो छावी वाला खिलौना होता है तो आपने वो खिलौना रख दिया सामने और वो खिलौना मूव कर रहा है तो क्या होगा बच्चा भी वो खिलौना खिलौने की तरफ आगे जाएगा तो ये मूविंग टॉय इस स्टेज पर जरूरी है तो बच्चा मूवमेंट ये जो रोलिंग ओवर बोल रहे हैं उसका वो स्टेज आ रहा है बच्चा हाथ लगा के खिलौने को पकड़ने की कोशिश कर रहा है ठीक है तो इनिशियली आप देखेंगे तो मास ग्राफ्स जो बोलते हैं या पालमर ग्राफ्स जो बोलते हैं वो हो रहा है कि क्योंकि दैट इज द स्टेज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट तो आप खिलौने भी उसी तरीके से बड़े वाले थे ताकि वो जैसे इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू मेंटेन सेफ्टी दैट द चाइल्ड इज नॉट पुटिंग इन माउथ बिकॉज एट द स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ माउदिंग और ये जो टेक्टर्स होते हैं दिस टॉइस आर इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज दे पुट ऑन देर फिंगर्स इन दर माउथ दे पुट टोज इन द माउथ सो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट यू मेनटेन हाइजीन एंड ऑल्सो यू गिव दैम बिग टॉयज सो दे डोंट यू नो पुट इट इन देर माउथ एंड ट्राई टू गिव बिग टॉयज ऐसे से सो ग्रेजुअली गिव दैम टमी टाइम जैसे पेट पर आपने बच्चों को सुलाया और खिलौना दिए दिखाया सामने तो क्या हो रहा है कि बच्चे ने जो नेक कंट्रोल अचीव किया है आप उसको मेंटेन कर रहे हो आप उसको और रिफाइन कर रहे हो तो वो जैसे नेक आप कर रहा है ट्रंक आप कर रहा है बच्चा और चीज़ें लेने के लिए और कोशिश कर रहा है तो आप बच्चे का क्रीपिंग जो है पेट के ऊपर से आगे आगे जाना और जो क्रॉलिंग स्टेज आ रहा है जो सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स में जिसे बच्चे क्रॉल करना स्टार्ट करते हैं तो आप तो आप वो डेवलप कर रहे हो ठीक है और आप मम्मी का वॉइस इन केस इफ शी इज नॉट एड और या फिर आप कोई चैंटिंग होती है जैसे या फिर नेचुरल साउंड्स हैं साउंड ऑफ बर्ड्स सी यू कैन रिकॉर्ड इट and you can keep it so the child is more relaxed and the child is in the in more conscious of more of the natural environment also start taking the child out jaise 
take the child out for sunlight exposure, show what is happening outside, see, look at the birds and uh, look at uh, what people are doing around. So more and more that you're talking with the child, the more and more vocabulary will develop. Jitna zada aap baat karo ke bachcho ke saath mein, utna unka vocabulary aur develop ho na. So now um, I want to say that uh, when we talk about play, so play becomes one of the performance area over here. Hmm? Performance area, like play and leisure, education, self-care, sleep. This is what in a typical day that the child is doing. Okay, so after when the when your kid is about to walk a toddlership you teach them uh, more of the skills like uh, which are prerequisites to uh, them being ready for the transition phase of separating from their moms and they want they have to now go to a play, a play group so these are uh, this, these are the toys and uh, this is the approach that you need to be able to bring about the transition in the child's life. Okay, so going further, when in the toddlership, you are, you are, you are using the biological readiness of the child. Okay, now the child, now child is able to walk, the, the muscle control, the neural control is now developed more. So you give those toys like uh, body awareness toys, okay, a small puzzle jo hai, this may a uh, human figure hai. So where is your face? Where is your trunk? Where are your hands? Where are your legs? So you, so you give more of the uh, human figures. So you, you teach them that way and uh, also avoid uh, use of furry toys because um, uh, it's difficult to clean and uh, air, you know it can get uh, dirty so better avoid it okay so here more and more play is getting refined from the time that the child is like initially playing with his own body that is more of the sensory motor play playing with where my hands are and where my legs are so like leg kicking so that is more of the unoccupied kind of a play behavior after that there's a stage wherein the child is observing other children so that is called onlooker play Jaise kuch bache khel rahe hai, toh, i will look at the children only i don't know what they are doing it's just fun to look at them. Then comes a stage when it's a solitary play. Okay, okay, I will, I will play it independently. Okay, then comes a stage wherein the child is developing a parallel play. The another child is working on blocks, and also the uh, this child, your child is working on blocks. So both of them are doing the same block activity. Okay, then comes associative play, uh, which is participation with some formal division of work and uh, organization of tasks. Okay, then later on, um, like when the child is ready for the school and uh, cooperative play develops. At that time, there is some sense of belonging, the role in the organization, it is directed by one or two leaders. So they listen to some of these rules and then then wait for the turn. So which is like around six years that they, that they participate in cooperative kind of a play. Also, let me tell you, there is a lot of research done on play. So this is just a sample. It, it shows that the importance of pretend play in child development and occupational therapy perspective by Answorth and published in 2000. 
So, uh, like this, there are many researches done which shows that play is very important from an occupational perspective, also therapy perspective, plus for the child. Okay, so uh, when the when the child is growing in the toddlership, you give them the toys, which is as I said, more of the human contact and learning more on their body and developing their cognitive skills. Okay. So, during the time of two years, you're putting the child with more of the pains, the introducing of messy activities. Messy activities in the sense, some sand play or uh, use of their fingers because now they have learned to isolate their fingers. So you give them poking, you you give them use of uh, pincer grass, which is picking up uh, objects. So you start with more of that. So that the play has now become from trial and error to end sensory motor to something which is which is having a meaning to it. Later on, you give the play which has a purpose in it. That okay, we need to construct this. Let's let's play with these blocks or let's make a seesaw with the block. Okay. So you play more with the construction work. Yeah. Then you give more of the gestures, copying, you give them commands to follow and uh, uh, these are multiple commands, let's say two, three commands you're giving together and see how the child is able to follow. Then uh, uh, also, as I said, you tell them to construct something. So in that, by age of four to five years, you give them more of the construction work. Okay, so uh, I would like to also share that the there is an involvement of the family which uh, which is through play and which is important. Why? Because the mom is participating in the child's play over here and if we analyze this task, the, the child is on a rope climber Okay, so when the child is on the rope climber, we are developing more of the motor control. And as an occupational therapist, I have taken the history of the child. I know what is going on in the family. Okay, and uh, uh, the motor skills which are achieved and which needs to get refined. So I am using something which is like crawling which a child has already achieved in the form of rope climber. So when the child, when child is rope climbing, there is a particular sequence which is hand up, then the legs up. So it, it's in the form of a crawling. So the child has already developed that crawling, which I'm refining, I'm using it in the form of rope climbing, which is also giving a proprioceptive stimulus. Just say joint contract body suspend so it is in the form of a play then there it's also meaningful to the child because the child knows okay i need to complete this activity and this is something which i can do but as a therapist i have added some challenge which we say it's just right challenge that I told the mom to be a little far so that he leans forward and in different directions. So he maintains his postural stability. Now at this stage, I'm working at this kind with this kind of a play wherein there's more of the postural stability. Okay, there, there's more of the command following. So mom is talking to the child. That means the social aspect is taken care. Child is also 
following the happiness the emotions of the of the mom okay you achieved it so remember uh, a tip wherein you need to always praise a child when the child does something good that reinforces the child to do more another tip here i want to say is kabhi bhi नो शब्द जो है आप अवॉइड कीजिए कि ये नहीं करना है ये मत करो ठीक है जैसे डोंट डू दिस आप बोलते हैं तो डोंट नहीं सुनने पर क्या होता है डू दिस सो द चाइल्ड इज नॉट एबल टू प्रोसेस दैट दैट एफिशिएंटली एंड आल्सो इट्स लाइक इट इट कुड बी सीन दैट ओके इफ आई एम टोल्ड नॉट टू डू सर्टन थिंग इज मोर लाइकली दैट आई मे डू इट just to get attention it could be a kind of a behavior so better as a parent you phrase positive sentences that okay let's do it yeah so this is the way i i tell the parents to interact with the child here i am developing the physical skill that is the refining of his reflexes and climbing up so providing more of the motor challenge sensory stimulation there is a movement component in it okay then cognitive the child is learning which color or which ring will be next then social component wherein mom is talking child is understanding expressions and emotions okay another thing is resilience and persistence which again develops with play in the sense uh, the child knows i have initiated this activity now i need to complete it then i will get a reinforcement in the form of a praise okay and after that if i need to keep it back to its place during the time when the child is playing there will be uh, some challenges which the child uh, get which a child can face and when the child knows okay i have faced this challenge and i have overcome it then it's a self reinforcement also so at this stage like at 4 years 5 years child is looking at you oh see i have done this give me some praise so do that catch on to such special moments wherein you get more attention of the child so this was an example of this and then the father is also involved in the play and uh, child is on the therapy ball yeah another tip i want to give you is therapy ball have a therapy ball at home have a uh, have a lot of books at home have blocks at home in the initial stage when like the child is about a year you can have visual cards which are called flash cards or story books with more of the visual and a word in it gradually you start more of the sentences and then uh, uh, photos which is giving some visual stimulation and uh, and when you are talking about it you are also giving a form of a storytelling which is a form of a play again okay in the sense you are using more of the dramatics so which is dramatic play let's know what these types of play are so there are 16 play types here so one is the symbolic play where jo objects hai usko use karte hain jaise cardboard ho gaya usko as a knife use karo okay okay i am cutting vegetable with it so it's more of the symbolic play then rough and tumble play rough and tumble play will be more involving more of the physical flexibility which is maybe like a pillow fight okay then socio dramatic play in that the child is acting out experiences playing house house ghar ghar khelte hain so creative play allows children to explore and use new ideas and imagination social play where the child is expect where it's expected that everyone will follow certain rules during a during a game then communication play play using words gestures like uh telling jokes dum sharads then dramatic play play where children figure out roles to play assign them and then act act them out locomotor play jaise movements different types of the child is just moving around 
okay here another tip i want to give you that during the during free play you see the child is moving here and there it's okay to give some free play but when you are teaching a child a certain skill make sure that you follow this initiation completion of the task and putting the things back to its place along with challenges and reinforcements so now now if child likes to run that is the inner drive of the child okay i mujhe bhagna hai now as an adult you want to teach a child a particular skill like you are working okay okay gross motor skills are jo one of the physical aspect like we discussed with the previous example you can add different other components you can add cognition also social also emotional also so you give away and say okay you need to jump and transfer these rings okay you need to you need to go and get these balls from there so that different types of plays then imagine you do play okay when you are imagining you are pretending could, could be that you have wings and uh, then come exploratory play using senses of smell touch so these are the different different senses that are used fantasy play like driving a car or a fairy tale story so then the deep play which allows a child to encounter risky experiences and conquer fear which could be fear of heights okay and uh, creepy crawlies so conquering and achieving uh, and fighting those fears mastery play then control of the uh, physical and effective ingredients of the environment like digging holes constructing object play play which uses sequences of eye hand manipulations and movements using a paint brush role play which could be uh, which could be like dealing with uh, dialing uh, on a telephone so playing uh, the role of it then recapitulative play which could be the play which allows a child to explore history and uh, uh, the stories of the past so these are 16 types of play okay so uh, we can ask uh, for some questions and along with that we can continue question from uh, mrs uh, An- aradhana uh, mughal is my baby is Two years, seven, uh, seven months. Is that a suitable toy? Okay. So now your child is in the um, toddlership. Okay. Now uh, child is moving about here and there. So you give toys which are uh, promoting more movement. You give jumping. You you take a therapy ball at home. Then you ask a child to. jump or uh, on the therapy ball so with with support so you're developing those gross motor skills which is important at this stage stand okay question from vihangi ambani is my baby is 10 month old and what can i give for mind development okay now let me tell you uh, first of all development is overall if it's physical development it's social development emotional development cognitive development and at this stage when you saying 10 months now this child is uh, in the uh, form of a uh, pretend you know starting to develop a pretend play trying to copy your actions so when you use social uh, uh, skills as in you are using more of the command giving you are developing the child's social skills you are developing the child's cognition so it is more of the social cognition that you are developing okay so you give copying actions you give you give them more of the uh, body awareness tell them the tell them about the body parts so through this they they can point out on their on or you help them because okay, this is my uh, 
uh, face you so give more of that yeah. my son has so many toys so many toys how do i tell him to arrange them after playing them okay the, that question is by ms purnima soni so see to have so many toys is okay but look whether like the age is not written over here so at at that age is a child um, uh, wanting to get engaged in them because out of that so many toys also you will see that maybe uh, let's for example it's a it's a rattle or if it's a furry toy it's a soft toy and that and my child wants to engage in that in that toy so that means it it is somewhere lacking the age appropriateness so what you do is you first of all keep those toys which are appropriate to his development okay and arranging toys is more of your behavioral training to the child now when you when you yourself as an adult do role modeling when you picking up things keeping that at its place then children will copy so the child will then learn ki okay i need to take this out and i need to keep it back also after playing so it's more of the role modeling that will help okay so i have been given certain questions who are occupational therapists now occupational therapist come under the umbrella of healthcare so let's say um in a particular uh, hospital setting uh, a client is getting admitted or now when it comes to children let's talk about children so yeah so when the child is been shown with some developmental delay yeah so uh, occupational therapists are in the picture when uh, the child needs to get back to normalcy or near to normalcy near to normalcy because here what you're doing is you are enabling to get those skills of the child which a child is capable of okay so what you are doing is you, you you are the doctor would refer an occupational therapist and we work on the child we, we use our knowledge of uh, the development the uh, neuro developmental techniques sensory integration techniques so we inculcate uh, uh, you know we use these techniques and uh, uh, try to get the child to the Uh, developmental age appropriate developmental stage and uh, like occupational therapist there are other doctors who are feel like for example physiotherapist they also come in the healthcare model so what is happening over here is we are directly in communication with the medical doctors so we know okay the there is a delay in the development so what could have possibly resulted in the delay and then it's a multidisciplinary work wherein if i notice that okay uh, in in, the, in this child there are so certain uh, dietary changes which would also help so the multidisciplinary work and reference goes that way so occupational therapists are in the healthcare model who get the dvnc that you know try to we try to get it back so the child is able to participate in activity of daily living so like as i said the activity the daily living could be the child wants to participate in the school the child wants to play uh, the child should be able to sleep properly so we are helping to develop uh, their skills so that they participate in these activities of daily living okay so um another question is my baby is 5 months in a suggest the kind of toys and games i should indulge into uh, question by miss ankita bafna all right uh, a 5 year old child 
will now be wanting to start you know has already started or would want to roll more and uh, start creeping so you have to use more of the toys which are moving so you use um, toys with uh, with the key where you move the key and then and the toy moves ahead so the child wants to now uh, go and uh, grasp the toy so use toys like that and keep talking to the child keep developing more of the vocabulary in the child and give more of the tummy time to the child so uh, you are using the achieve developmental milestone in achieving the next one okay question by ms shri uh, rupa sen is what are the criteria to buy toys for a 2 year old okay a 2 year old uh, child um, would uh, want to um, keep exploring more and more so you could uh, invest in toys which are lot of puzzles okay uh, expose a child to more of the uh, suspended uh, equipments uh, like a swing let them go out in the garden and uh, allow them to get more and more sensory exposures let them walk on the grass so the criteria is give them something first what if what they are inclined to naturally that okay they are approaching certain toys so so make sense of it okay if they are even if they are approaching let's say in the kitchen they they want to play with the cooker so tell them okay, okay this is yours and uh, at that time and the child want, wants to know okay this is mine so give them okay this is yours and uh, start with some kind of a uh, sharing so allow that um, autonomy and balance it out with uh, with the uh, interact with interaction with the child come on let's uh, use a cooker and cook uh, food for the family or let's feed the other baby yeah so incorporate more of the play with the fa family and uh, that would also involve grandparents so uh involvement of the grandparents is that the uh, skills of 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 uh, grandparents like balancing and motor skills and coordination skills uh, also the cognitive stimulation is provided when they are interacting with the grandson or the granddaughter so it is a kind of a beneficial uh, alliance which they are developing and uh, i work with the uh, elder population also now wherein i promote that the there is an intergenerational play and uh, the child also benefits along with that the um, older people uh, also benefit out of it okay so now um, you can uh, buy toys or the which are leading to motor development cognitive development social skills development from baby chakra you can go on their website and uh, uh, follow them on their facebook and uh, they you can download uh, an application which is baby chakra application and follow them and if you have query you can ask over there and uh, you can connect to me on adorate doctor dot my name t e j s w i kamle k a m b l e so certain uh, things i could give you an overall of at different stages like infancy toddlership the preschool stage what are the different types of development and what are the toys that you need to uh, consider and if there are more specific questions you connect to me on the um, the email or the baby chakra login which which i have provided with that is adorate repeating adorate doctor dot 
that is dr dot t i t e j s w i k a m b l e also you uh, find that if there is any deviancy in the child's play or the child is like as i said uh, playing in a manner wherein there is lining of toys or uh, if uh, there is some delay in the speech of the child or there's some stereotypical behaviors or child wants to play in isolation you get in touch with autism connect autism connect is a platform again which is supporting uh, parents giving they have a directory wherein there are professionals also a part so once you log on to their website that is uh, www.autismconnect.com you get more information about it and as i said any specific question with regards to typically developing children as in they don't have any issues and you want to optimize their skills you want to refine their reflexes get the postural stability and uh, engage them in cognitive skills uh, you kindly get back to me on my personal login or you could connect to me on my facebook page which is of my name t e j s w i so you could find me there on facebook page thank you so much for your time